this video, I will show you how to deploy a Vapor service with AWS Cloud Development Kit. First, we make the directory for the CDK project and initialize with CDK. We can use Java, JavaScript, Python or C Sharp. But I will choose TypeScript for this project. We install all the dependencies that we need. I like to use the new Nova app from Panic, but we could also use Visual Studio Code or any other ID. Then I import all dependencies that I have installed with npm. I need EC2 construct to make the VPC, ECS construct for the Elastic Container Service, ECS patterns, which makes it very easy to set up the ECS service with load balancer. ECR construct for storing the containers to run the vapor app. Start with making the VPC that will contain all the infrastructure needed for running the ECS. ECS service will run in a cluster with ID Dune cl cluster. We need the registry to store the containers. Before we can make an ECS service, we need to define task definitions for the two containers. We use Fargate. The first container I add to the task definition is vapor app. The image is in the AWS ECR registry we have defined. We need logging, so we can use CloudWatch to check the logs.
scanner port is 8080, the normal port that Vapor uses. The Mongo database container is added to the task definition. The image is from the public Docker Hub, Richard say. MongoDB ports are the normal 27 of 17. At last, we make the Fargate service with the fronting load balancer using the ECS patterns construct. Service name is Dune Service. Cluster stored in the cluster constant, CPU 512. Here we can add how many services to run behind the load balancer, just set to 1 for now. Add the task definition with the two containers. We need the load balancer to have a public domain name so that we can reach it from the public internet. The sync command will translate the code we have just written to CloudFormation and dump it to the terminal. We can see that the few lines of code we have defined our service is translated to the several hundred lines of CloudFormation. If we count the lines, we see that we have 640 lines of CloudFormation code.